Yes, yes. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Dead or Spud. I'm an Alco Mac. Um, today's movie we're going for came out in 2024, so pretty much a brand new film, and it's called Monster Mash. Not to be confused by another movie that came out in 1995 called Monster Mash The Movie, or another movie that came out in 2022 called The Monster Mash. Confusing, I know, yeah. But this one, Monster Mash, the idea... Dracula, Werewolf and the Invisible Man must work together to stop Dr. Frankenstein from creating an unstoppable monster. Sounds awesome, if you ask me. I have seen previous films, I guess. There was a Monster Squad back in the day. A bit more of like kind of kid-friendly film. I'm guessing this is going to be more for the adult audience, I'm assuming. Monster Squad was okay. And then there was another one, like, I keep forgetting, like, goes over bed a lot. It was like a wrestling thing where they had, like... All these monsters come into a ring. Sounds like a good idea. For my memory, it was a bit... Mm, I might have to rewatch that one, but... I've always liked this idea of, you know, bringing all the monsters together and stuff, like, you know. Um, so, yeah, pretty much came out this year. Uh, my thing about this as well, it stars uh, Michael Madsen. Interesting. Uh, that guy has literally probably got one of the best death scenes I've ever seen in my life on, on a film. He basically was told in a film... Uh, yeah, this is a scene where you die, and he's like, nah, 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 I'm, right, I'm not going to die. Absolutely phenomenal, I was like, you know what I mean? So, is his death scene, if he does die in here, going to be as good as that? I doubt it. I don't think anyone could ever beat that death scene, to be honest. The mad thing is, he's supposed to be playing Dr. Frankenstein in here, um, but then he's um, credited as Dot, D-O-T-T, -T, Frankenstein. I don't know, is that like a mess up or whatever? Because if so, it could be a good sign of what we're going into here. Anyway, I'm not going to say too much more. I said it only came out this year. I think it's from Asylum Pictures as well, so we know we're getting into that one. But, you know, I go into these films open-minded because I do like a lot of trash, quite frankly. You know what I mean? So, let's say no more and get into Monster Mash from 2024. <laughs> And there it is, look. Look at that. You know you get into when you see that in the film. Dracula! No, oh, I, I thought they were probably like friends, but they're like, what are you doing here kind of thing? All right, let's have a... We're going to get a fight off this early in the film. All right, yeah, look at this. Because the mistake is calling the monster there, Frankenstein. Frankenstein's the creator. He's the monster, like a guess. But if I do end up calling Frankenstein, my bad. It's just habit, like, you know. But he knocked her out anyway. So... Vampires can get knocked out by Frankensteins. Okay. Ah, go on, bro. Well, it was nice of him to clean her mouth up. She had, like, blood dripping from the woman she bit earlier, but that well, was nice of him. Give you a clean up before he chuck you in the jail. Nice. Oh, you look, look out. You belong to me now. You belong to me? Woohoo! You like the freaky stuff, huh? That's cool. Uh, Blood Police like, oh shit, that's where they headed the floor when Frankenstein fucking headbutted her. Dracula ain't happy about that. Well, duh. This feels like a James Bond intro or something. And take that as a compliment, Asylum, like, it definitely am better, you know, I might be speaking too early here, but so far, you know, setting the tone fine. Respect. Uh, he's feeling all bad for headbutting her and shit. What's in that cap, I wonder? It's definitely alcoholic, isn't it? It's gotta be. It's Michael Mad it's Michael Madsen, of course it is like. Well duh. Oh shit, that uh, sword stab from Blood Rings finally kicked in like fucking twenty years later. It's, just it's like, oh shit, I just remember I was supposed to have died in that scene, innit? It was like twenty years it took him, like fucking drinking all that alcohol. He's like, oh yeah, fuck. Oh, I'm in a different film now. How long? Oh shit, 20 years later, shit. Better do our better make an effort in this one, man. And then the silent production. But then Bloodborne was Yui you you ball, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I kind of like, you know, postal on a couple of the others. I gotta say, like, you know, but I get most people right. don't, you know. <laughs> I was just about to make a joke and say, this is a mummy. Imagine just for a the laugh, they're making like a parkour expert. Look at him, bro, he's running around. Like you'd never imagine the mummy as a parkour expert, would you? But Look at him, bro. He's nimble. I, I can see him doing some fucking flips and stuff soon, like, you know? It's fire that consumed the great temple of Karnak 4,000 years ago. Well, that bracelet was made 4,000 years ago. 
It looks like he's bought from a charity shop recently. What? Frankenstein! Ah, uh, Frankenstein! Oh, what would he do? Shit, he fucking murdered him! I thought he was supposed to just like knock him out and bring him back. So is the mummy dead or what, what the, the fuck? fuck? The heart, right, so he ripped out the heart and retrieved it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, and his creation's being pals. He's like, yeah, buddy, I've done a good job. He's like, no, get away from me, filth, like. <laughs> so far, I know Frankenstein's like Ed Button women, vampires, so we got to kind of put that in there, like just going on killing monsters. He's he's kind of been instructed to do it. You can tell he's like, I don't want to do it, mate. Do it on ease. Fair play, nice filming. I know they're doing, um, like, back in the day, in it, like, what was that shot with, I think, it, who was the original one who'd done it? Was it Bar Boris Karloff? Clearly a back to that, wouldn't it? I would feast on your insides without a moment's hesitation. No need for... Uh, she's not that bothered, like. And she knows it's Count Dracula. Boris. Boris is his name. That's her face. <laughs> Touch my face. He's like... No, no heart. You know, is that... Like, I prefer to touch elsewhere if you're going to do it. Hey. Woohoo. You like the freaky stuff, huh? That's cool. Show yourself. He's on the floor next to you, you saw his skull mate, surely. Is he gonna like resurrect him? What the fuck did he just pour? Rise. That liquid looked Rise. the best, you know. Well I think without his heart, he's not gonna be able to resurrect him, is he? Right? A heart. There you go, a heart, that's what I need. Is he gonna use the heart of a rat? I suppose in the ritual, technically it's a heart, I guess. If Said he just needed a fresh eye, didn't say it had to be human, so... If it works, I guess. Can you imagine that though, being a mummy and like, something goes wrong, just not a human heart, and like, you come back as like a, a rat-looking thing. I'd be pissed off at Dracula then, I'd be like, dude, just leave me dead, like. Yeah, let's see what happens here anyway. There he goes, he's gonna drip his own blood over there. So will he be like a mummified vampire? Is he gonna like, upgrade him? That'd be cool. Not, not quite. No oh, shit, look at this. <laughs> Back in, spawned him back in, bro, revived him. Oh, so he has to bite him to turn him. This is how it threw me out. It is a forge. Look at his hands, clearly wearing like fucking gloves, like, you know what I mean? I was gonna say, the actual effects and that so far have been good. That's the first time I've noticed something really, so. So far, good job, I will say. Respect. Here. Okay, bring it back. He's like, go and skin this person, get skin, and put in this big fucking jar. So he's got to walk around with his fucking jar, put it down before he fights and knocks people out, skin them, put them back in a jar. Fucking hell. Asking a lot, mate. Oh, no. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ah, uh, the invisible man's like, oh, fuck's sake. Trying to read a book, fuck's sake. I never will talk uh, look at this. Damn. Getting serious now, huh? Uh, uh. He loves head button people, bro. You're not gonna show him ripping the flesh off, no? Pathetic! Okay, just gonna go to that, okay. Yeah, uh, look at this, the mummy's just hanging around here now. It's like, in this world, just the humans are like, yeah, just... Dracula's down the bar with the fucking mummy getting pissed. Don't go there tonight, you know, the fucking trouble he caused. Like, just, you know, just leave him to it. Went in the post office, have a, you know, have a chat to him, went in a better mood, but... Thank you, dear lady. Dracula, you know what he's like. Well, duh. Sheep's milk is a miracle cure for dry skin. Yeah, they're going on about dry skin to the mummy, like. <laughs> yeah, have some moisture on your face, see if that helps. Good evening, Miss Browning. Yeah, good evening, love. Well, you could do with some moisturiser. Is she asleep? Is she asleep? <laughs> She's like, look, just I'm trying to meditate to find out, mate, like. <laughs> it's a foul, twisted thing. Ah, uh, coming from that thing, it's a foul twisted thing, coming from a fucking rotting corpse. What? Cannot allow him to continue. But fair play, they're all disgusted by Frankenstein playing God, they're like, he's trying to make an army of immortals. But aren't you all immortal? No. That's the invisible man, isn't it, on the table, like. Was it Frankenstein? He said, was it Frankenstein? Frankenstein's the doctor. <laughs> Will heal you. Will I? You know. No. You will not He's like, basically, I can heal you by blood, and then even the invisible man's like, oh, well, you know, turn me into. He's like, oh, 
God, even just, no one's be a vampire, no mate. I gotta bite you for fuck's sake. I'm sick and tired of telling everyone this shit. Have you been crying? No. Where's my baby crying? Where's my baby crying? No. <laughs> I thought I'm crying. No, I wasn't. I was <laughs> it's not. It's okay to be touched, Beavis. Yeah. Beavis was touched. Shut up. <laughs> I got nothing against this Frankenstein. But it does sound fun. I'm in. Yeah, uh, he's like that. They've got nothing against the guy, but you know, all this murder, rip his heart out, you know, tear his skin off. Yeah, I'm in, mate. Respect. West side. It draws near. Oh, here he goes. So it's four verse one now, like, so the monster's gonna be a bit fucked out, if he tries to fight them, right? Not, not quite. Ah, surprise, motherfucker. Ah, there you go, shooting him up now. Uh, like, well, yeah, whatever, mate. Why do you all attack him, like, one at a time? Why don't you all just jump in with weapons and just bang, 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 constant, like? I don't know. Ah, uh, look at this. It's like, and what, mate? Pathetic. The headbutt, the classic. <laughs> he's like, okay. Oh, shit, so he's just killed a werewolf guy like that, huh? What? He didn't even have a chance to turn into a werewolf. I'm guessing that's a werewolf guy, right? Good job. Now you go get the castle. The universe is already. But then he only pushed, like, um, the one guy into the invisible guy. He literally just pushed him. He didn't knock them guys out, right? They just watched him do that. And then he escaped. What? Oh, right, so he hasn't killed him. He's just chopped the limb off, is he? Or... Oh, he's cut his arms and legs off. So yeah, he's fucking dead, basically. Yeah. Not, not quite. Just wait. He's like, you don't need to be resurrected. Look at him, just wait. So I'm guessing he can grow his arms and legs back then, yeah? Yeah. Anything to drink? Actually, I am a bit. Ah, anything to drink to Dracula? You'll attract attention. <laughs> He's like, come on, don't. You'll attract attention, not you, mate, come on. <laughs> so they've been going on about the main ingredient they need. They need all this shit done, but... Dracula's blood's the main thing. So Michael Madsen is basically going, do all this shit, but in the meantime, purposely leave clues to, so when he came here, which is why we kidnapped his daughter. So he's like inviting him on, like he's nuts. He's like, come on, Dracula, I'll fucking have you. Come on, Wolfman, I'll fucking have you. I mean, I know you got your creature thing, but when he turns on you, you're fucked. Uh, is this going to turn into night breed now and he'll be like, Hey, Breed, I want some meat. And then fucking chase him or some shit. Your meat. For the beast. Oh, okay, guys, he's turning into his werewolf form, yeah? We should come up with a plan to take him down. Kill him. That is the plan. <laughs> Kill him? Like, yeah, he's been beating you all up. Like, wait, exactly. The guy goes, we need to come up with a plan. Yeah, what is the plan? I don't know. Griffin. Blow a hole in him. Ah, uh, blow a hole in him? Well, he tried this earlier and it did fuck all. Let's see what happens this time. Well, how did it work this time? Damn. Silver bullets deliver. Silver bullets. Oh, he's changed his bullets. Fair enough. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's not dead from just that. No way. We're going in without my wild side, boys. Right, so the moon's covered up, which means he's gone back to his human form. Oh shit, they had to give the costume back to the fucking uh, shop they rented it from. Like, shit. Run over time here, mate. I tell you what, any shots now you've got of a werewolf, you'll keep after tomorrow's shoot, right, mate? What? Hell of a catch, fair play. What exactly? So it's like Tomb Raider now. They've got like all fucking traps and shit going on. Oh, here we go. So they've all turned back and he's gone invisible. Became a mist and that's going to get him through it, okay. So, the thing is, his creation, though, this, what? This is the fight break. My heart may not be able to stand the shocking conclusion of this film, so we're going to give you a chance to stop watching now. What? What the fuck? There's like a warning. And we won't hold it against you if you decide to Okay. But then you need Dracula's blood, right, to get the whole thing going? That's what's, whatever, this is strange. Here you go, he's gonna fucking pace through all this shit and set it all off. Go on then. Uh, look at this. 
That was okay. So, Dracula had his turn. He's got his turn. Also, why didn't the invisible guy just go fully invisible? Wouldn't it be more of an advantage that way? All right, Jason. Jason Voorhees, eh? Fuck it out. Something tells me we should not be seen by the mirror. Uh, something tells me we should not be seen by the mirror. Okay, perfect time for Invisible Man now to go and do what he's got to do. I mean, he's cool at doing this, but he's done a scene after scene. They should have, like, maybe have done this a bit earlier, have some shit going on, and the next scene shut off to so get further on you do this. It's literally been scene after scene. Oh, we get it. Got to use their powers in this film somehow, wouldn't it? You know, we are using the Invisible Man. Got to get him invisible at some point, I guess, isn't it? You know? Oh, yeah, little girl. Come on. Uh, come on! Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! Father! Yeah, time to tie you up and everything. What? He's making Dracula sit in his seat. There's like a trap now. He's gonna like tie him in or some shit, is it? You can call me Mystic Mike because I predict these things. Yeah, there it is. But I mean, it's a bit of leather. I'm not being funny. Dracula could literally just go, whatever. But apparently it's taking blood out of him as well. What? Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more than that. Ah, uh, it's like, yeah, your apology ain't enough, mate. There you go, so Frankenstein's dying, so he's going through all this so he can... Look, ...recover himself, I guess, huh? So he's gonna make a new body out of everything he collected, transfer his mind in there somehow, I guess, and... ...live on. Oh, she just get out of here like that? I don't know. Look, she's not even tied up. What the fuck? She moved her hands, why shouldn't she just, like, punch him? He's still human at this point, and now he's had that much blood. Did he have that much blood taken out of him? He disappeared, or did he choose to do that tactically? Oh, there you go. She stabbed him in the heart. He's gonna transfer himself somehow into that thing, though. What? So, how is this happening then? How is he transferring his soul into that? He never mentioned anything about you know how to do any of that. So he had the skin of the invisible man, so he'll have the ability to go like that. You'll have the ability to be a werewolf. You'll basically be all of them combined. Let's see how this goes then. So he's basically a CGI werewolf. Oh shit, that's a bit disappointing. Everything so far being practical and pretty alright. Oh shit, man. Oh, bit jarring. Pathetic. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh dear. I mean, why are you getting that close? Like, get some distance, mate. Nothing's happening. Nothing. I got this. Yeah, right. What are you gonna do? Oh, just snarl at him. That was her attempt to fight him. Pathetic. Yeah, he's like, father, fuck you, bang. Pretty lame though. He should have at least like went fucking halfway over the other side of the room. But there we go. Pathetic. What? Why is this happening? What? what? Uh, this vampire just turned up. Who's this person he's just bitten? He just literally turned up with a random woman. What? To re Why didn't he, like, bite her whatever he transfer for transformed to? I am revived. Then come back? He, you, while you're weak, you drag... I don't know, unless there's some woman walking around in the woods. I, the magic goes with it. Well, whatever, he's revived now, so... We got the full team, let's go. Let's go. So, vamp... So... What? what? Dracula turned into a huge bat. Yeah. Dracula's turned into a huge bat. So they turned into CGI claymation style monsters. Okay. Pathetic. Ah, he just smacked him. He's like, I saw that coming, you dick. Oh, he ripped his leg off somehow. Ah, go off. Well, well, it's back anyway, don't matter. It's like fucking Power Rangers mixed with Transformers, like, uh, but bad version, if I'm honest with you. Pathetic. Why is he on the floor now when you had control of him, so why would he be on your back? Like, you'd just be like that. Like he is now. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Okay, so he's thrown something at it. Hit him again. Well, so he's just throwing shit at it. <laughs> He's thrown rocks at it, okay? So while he's got rocks thrown at him and he's all Mortal Kombat stancing, is this where the fatalities come to play now and he'll work? Oh, he's gone inside of his mouth? Okay, he's gonna explode him, I guess, somehow. Yeah. 
I suppose you went straight for the heart, which will stop him being immortal. So everything else won't matter then. And if he takes a heart away, I guess that's what happened. I don't know. Okay, now they just at the bar. Oh, don't get him drunk, mate. Imagine him getting a bar ball, mate. He would literally murder everyone. Get him drunk. Get him drunk. What am I saying? Yeah, get him drunk. <laughs> good. <laughs> Damn right, it's good. I hope the sequel to this film is Frankenstein's monster becomes an alcoholic and he lives till modern day and he's just in an office job and he hates anyone when when hates him and he just has to go from job to job every day so he kills people. That'd be, that'd be a good film. And I honour you. Ah, fair play to Dracula being all fucking prosperous and shit. Who's a toast? Okay, so that was Monster Mash from 2024. Um, as I was saying in the beginning, will uh, Michael Madison have, like, you know, a more epic death than Blood Rain? No, really, like, you know what I mean? Because he turns into a CGI monster, like, you know what I mean? So let's talk about that part, really. Like, the end part of this film, like, um, they give you this little warning to say, you know, I don't think I've ever seen that in a film, like, you know what I mean? It's a bit weird why they done that, but whatever, it was artistic choice i guess to go well if you want to see the conclusion of this film get ready okay it's nothing like graphically violent or nothing so i don't know why they did that but okay whatever you know that kind of a little bit shortly after that turns into like oh cgi monster me like mess i'll say because literally the whole film before that is pretty much practical you know there is definitely some cgi you know with the odd little things but it's so like little or not really noticeable or too badly done but then they go let's go transformers mode and kind of become huge things Dracula becomes a massive cgi bat that part there which i get what they're trying to do they want to make an epic fight what they should have done is got michael madison character instead of turning him into like a cgi monster just have him come back but in a human form and like you know like they cut his arm off but he goes ah, and his arm just grows back because michael madison but with all their powers so it's like shit it's a human form which would be worse because it's like if people like that lived among us you wouldn't know that would be even worse because it'd be like they look like humans that's even scarier this big massive monster thing you're like oh i can see it. i'm a mile off you know i think they should have went that direction but then like minimum used to cgi would have been in line with the rest of the film because that end part really takes you out a bit you're like oh fuck's sake you know what i mean that was a main negative for me though you know what i mean this is filmed by asylum so when i saw asylum it's like i know i'm going into it more like you know which is expected from the asylum film but i'm going to give them props they're definitely up in their game a bit um more than a bit really this film was pretty enjoyable if i'm being honest with you overall so i'll get to it i'm actually going to give it some respect um i quite enjoyed it the characters were pretty well done i like the theme the fact you know Let's get all these, like, you know, uh, well-known, like, um, monsters and creatures together. I've seen it being done in Monster Squad back in the day, which is fine. There's more of a kiddie fun thing, which, you know, fine. And they also done it in a film called Monster Brawl, when you all have them come wrestling. The idea now is great, but it was just not that good from what I remember. So these kind of ideas of films, you're like, great ideas, but I've never really seen one done, like, so well. This one weren't amazing, but they done a really good job, especially for Asylum. Michael Ma Michael Madsen, I was like, oh, I'm going in you, more of a, like a piss take film, that was my impression. I ended up enjoying it. The actors were pretty decent overall. Um, they played homage to, uh, homage to all the characters pretty well, I think. Like, you know what I mean? There was a lot of lore and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, the silver bullet things and all that. So obviously, at some moments, I was like, oh, you know what I mean? But overall, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to be honest. Not what I expect from a silent film. I was expecting to go in here completely tearing it to pieces. But it was like, yeah, little moments here and there. But overall, it gave me a very old school vibe, which is good. It was filmed pretty well. Um, the acting, as I said, was pretty decent. Va the vampire guy, extra props to you really well. I really thought he was good in this. Like, you know what I mean? He was my favourite, probably most stand-up actor in the whole thing. Um, you know, he said there were some moments where it's like, you know, and especially the end power was a bit like, ah. But overall, much better than I expected. Um, was it one I'd recommend if you're into these films? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, go in, like, you know, like I said, in a silent film, you're going to roll your eyes. So if you're like, I don't mind the silent films, I'll give them a go. Give this one a go. This will surprise you. If you're like, I'll never watch an asylum film this shit, but I'll watch any B kind of movies in general, give this a go. The update game. That's what I'm saying. I thought filming, the whole thing. A couple of things that threw me off a bit, though. They don't say the exact timelines. They don't join in. Like, the Invisible Man's got, like, a gun that's, like, with magazine and that, and I know that'd be more, not 
necessarily super modern day, but more of a modern day thing compared to like, you know, mummies and all that. So they never really stipulate what the times are, but based on how everyone dresses, you'd think it's like maybe 18th century. So that gun thing took me off because I don't think guns like that were made at the time that this was based on. And there was one or two little other things. But other than that, they pretty much pretty decent with attention to detail as well. That's what I'm saying. So this one surprised me. I would recommend it, to be honest. But obviously only if you're into these kind of films. Asylum done a lot better than I thought. And I'm surprised, you know. I'm going to look at Asylum films a bit different as long as they go in this direction. I do look at them go, oh, here we go. Let's have a laugh. But they might actually throw out some decent ones based on this. If this is the direction they go in. I was surprised, to put it that way. Um, Michael Madsen... Yeah, kind of what you expect from him, though. You know what I mean? Maybe a little bit more effort than the, some of the other films. 10% more effort, maybe. I'm not saying much, but you, you know what I mean. Um, and the eyeliner thing, I never made much of a comment of it, but I noticed a lot of eyeliner, whatever. But not bad, not bad. Uh, have you seen this film? If you have, let me know. If you know of any other films like this that I haven't mentioned, like, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for joining us. Until next time, peace out. Uh, uh, maniacal Man. Yeah.